All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Drew. This is Lydia. And over there is Whitney. And we're here for right now, this beautiful Monday morning. Three-way cheers. Through, oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Bangarang. And Whitney and Lydia are going to talk to me and you about Monday Matchup. Because Monday Matchup is something we've been doing here at the company for a while. And I feel like me, I personally, I, I know about it. And then I forget about things about it. And then things change. So, like, what is the current state of Monday Matchup? What do we do? What is the purpose? What do they need to know? What do I need to know? So Monday Matchup's been on a break for a month now because we did the Goulet on Holiday giveaway. That's why which I forgot was about awesome. it. Awesome. Um, and then it's coming back today. <laughs> so basically what Monday Matchup is is like we pair a pen and ink together and we give it to one of our talented teammates, let them draw pretty pictures with it. You let them borrow it. Yes. Well, it gets given to somebody. Else. Yes, that is true. So they use it to draw a pretty picture and then we give it away to somebody else. For nothing. For nothing. Wait. They have to except, do something. <gasps> except. Uh, so there's four chances to enter on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the blog. And basically all you have to do is match a pen and ink. And then if you go to the blog, you can find the directions on how to enter, which we have. <laughs> if Andy wants those. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting this this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the image that's at the bottom of the blog, and it gives directions on how to enter. And for each specific platform, the entry method's just a tad bit different, but basically all it comes down to is matching a pen and ink. So when you say matching a pen and ink, what, what do you mean? Just Any pen, any ink. fountain pen, and any ink you have. So they don't need to match. They don't have to match. Okay, you just, you just choose an ink, mm -hmm. choose a fountain pen, say which both of them mm -hmm. are, and then get it out there yep. so that the world can see yep. what they do. And it doesn't have to be pretty pictures. No. You can literally just write out the name of the pen and ink. Yeah, and not think that that's important um, for someone like me to understand too. Yep. Because <laughs> I think that unless I, because I mean, on Instagram, on Facebook, all you see are these just, like, I don't, I don't know, all I see, the folks that I follow, there's these masterpieces that I'm like, I would never be able to do that. Mm -hmm. But for Monday Matchup, at least, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever <laughs> you want. Right. And we've got folks here that, you know, have embraced kind of just being able to put something out there, mm -hmm. and I think that's important for anyone to understand. When they're writing with fountain pens, you don't have to be able to reproduce masterpieces in order to have fun with fountain pens. This is one of the ones I did. Oh, really? That's fun! Legitimately traced that guy, and I traced the baseball. See? And like just did the writing, you know, and whatever it came, came great. to me. So. And you did this one too. I did this one too. This one I actually drew on my own though. I, I drew the shamrock. See? And wow. then did the ink wash. That's like tattoo worthy right there. Well, thanks. <laughs> That's really cool. Yep. That was another one I did. But That's... you wouldn't know anything about taking drawings and turning them into no, tattoos, no, right? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Whitney. That looks fantastic. Well, Whitney, what do you have to throw in? What are your two cents here? Uh, well, I get to take pictures of all the Monday matchups, so I get to see them all. Um, <laughs> what we like to try to do, well, I try to encourage people to do when they're making their Monday matchups is to show off the properties of the ink the best that they can because by doing that kind of get, gets people pumped about the ink. Um, so Lydia has done, and she did this on her most recent Monday matchup, which you will see soon. Today! Yes, soon Woo! as in today. Um, <laughs> so this ink wash is a nice thing that kind of shows how water resistant or how kind of, I don't know, how it plays with water. Mm -hmm. that? uh, That's okay. not something I often think about, but when you see this happening on Instagram or wherever, it's a super popular thing for people to actually go for. So yeah. it's not a bad thing to exhibit. I mean, like, and you this is just see with the Aronite, this is Monteverde Aronite. You see the blue Monteverde undertone? what? Aronite. Aronite. Oh, the, the mineral one. Mm -hmm. Okay, the gemstones, yeah. Yep. But you can see the blue undertones, which you wouldn't see if you're just And is this writing. just is this just water mm -hmm. and ink and like what a cotton swab or something like that? Uh, one of the brush pens. One of the brush pens. One of the Karen yep. Dosh ones that mm -hmm. we, we sell. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we kind of have a range of different things. So here's one I did where I pretty much did no lines in it. It's just brush blobs, brushy water inky blobs. <laughs> and then here is one that Adam did and there's pretty much, there's not really any water brush use in there so it's only using lines and 
little squiggles and filling in with values, but it does kind of show how the ink and the pen work together. And then here's kind of a happy medium. This is a really pretty little botanical drawing that Sarah did where she's got little lines in there, but she's also used the brush to kind of shade it in. So when we use the, when we do the Monday matchups, I try to encourage people to play around and experiment and do different things because it kind of shows how you can use ink and pens together to make art. Cause I think sometimes people forget that they can do that. So, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a really cool opportunity for anybody that actually wants to enter Monday matchup too, to, you know, go ahead and play around with your ink, see mm -hmm. what it does. Cause you might be surprised that it has some properties that you weren't aware of. Because yeah. I know I don't do any of this with my ink, so I really don't know what might have a cool blue sheen to it, mm -hmm. because I just don't do it. But Monday Matchup is a good excuse to kind of like get get a little crazy. But yeah. um, they only they can enter this every week, right? There's mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. so even literally, if they've won before, they can still enter again. Have we had somebody that's won twice? Yeah, we've had people that have won two and three times. That could be you. Yeah. It might actually be you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for winning three times, I yep. guess. <laughs> yes. But we've got a great participation on here, and if you know, you search the, uh, it's a hashtag Monday matchup, right? Mm -hmm. Good so boy. just search it, see what's out there, you know, and it's, and it's not just Whitney's gorgeous Dostoevsky, you know, portrait here. Or her Johnny Cash. It is, it is all over the place. You've got a little bit of everything. And, uh, oh my God. Now, variety is the spice of life, right? We need we need a little bit of everything, and I think Whitney did a pretty good job in showing like what different styles you can do. But just like Lydia said, you could literally just write the name of the ink mm -hmm. in the ink, and you'll be entered to win. Yep. And it'll get out there and encourage, you know, show others that what different types of things that can be written with, with fountain pens, and throw your hat in the ring to win a free pen and a mm -hmm. free bottle of ink, right? The whole bottle? Yep. The whole bottle. That's pretty cool. Well, I didn't know those are samplers on <laughs> Actually, I do know, but I wanted them to know. You right. know, they don't know. Absolutely. Totally Absolutely. Know. Anything else you guys want to add? I don't think so. I think what, do you think is the most, what do you think is the most important thing that they keep in mind when considering? Actually, no, just tell them what, why it's important. Why do you think Monday Matchup is worth paying attention to? I think it's a fun way to show off the pen and ink you're using and to see what everybody else is using. There you go, Whitney. I mean, kind of what she says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good way to just kind of see how different inks and pens work together, and mm -hmm. it's a good community builder. It's yeah. good to kind of That's see what everybody idea. else is doing, and yeah. it's exciting to potentially win something. Mm -hmm. Winning things is fun, especially when you don't win anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney's, Whitney's, not Whit bitter. Whitney's not eligible <laughs> to win money matchup, <laughs> but you are. Check out the hashtag. Enter win. Three easy steps. And that's it. Thank you guys for joining us. It's been a great Monday morning, and I think because of this delightful interaction, it's going to be a great Monday. Woo! So, have a great day, and ride on.